The Ministry of Physical Development is taking concrete steps towards officially designating the Petor Management Area as an Environmental Protection Area. Chief Physical Planning Officer Karen Augustine emphasized that achieving this goal is not merely a matter of intent, but requires robust legislative action to ensure its success and sustainability. She pointed out that for such designation to be effective and enforceable, new legislation must be introduced and passed. This legal framework will provide the necessary authority and mechanisms to manage and protect the area, addressing issues such as land use, biodiversity conservation, and the regulation of activities within the designated zone. And for that, we have decided to have it uh, legally binding that it would be an environmental protection area underneath the Physical Planning and Development Act. So to facilitate this initiative, we are undertaking a series of public sensitization activities whereby we will engage the public and explain to them what that generally means. Plainly, an environmental protection area is an area consisting of features which require preservation, not only for the present but for future generations. Preserved in its appearance, preserved in its um, natural ability to provide a sense of ownership as a country. So in having that protection done, we are letting the world know, we are letting St. Lucians know that this area is special. This area is unique. This area has certain qualities that need to be preserved. The Petor Management Area was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site during the 20th session of the World Heritage Committee in 2004. Fast forward 20 years into 2024 as plans are afoot to officially designate it an environmental protection area. The question is asked, was the proverbial cart put before the horse? I do agree with you. So if we recognize that we have done this, we need to now take a step back, examine our situation and put things right. We need to preserve it for us before we can preserve it for a world heritage recognition. And since we recognize that we may have fallen short, we need to step up and do the right thing. Among the new amendments to the legislation will include additional protection for the PTORs in order to avert illegal or unplanned development in the designated area or preserve it in its natural state as much as possible. This will also include the Sulphur Springs. To sensitize the general public to this activity, we have undertaken a series or we are intending to undertake a series of public sensitization drives in Sufre as well as nationally so as to sensitize the general public as to what the provisions of that legislation are about. And we are inviting all stakeholders and that is each and every one of us as St. Lucians to participate in this exercise so that you too can be aware of your contribution in preserving this area for your children. So we encouraging everybody, we are, we are going to be um, in the future sending out where we are having those um, public engagements. We are starting off in Soufre, of course. We will be on radio and television. The Department of Physical Planning is currently collaborating with the Ministry of Sustainable Development in identifying other areas which require environmental protection status. For Choice News Now, this is Obi Offer reporting.